Picture this. You're a photographer who wants to create incredible cinematic photos that you're proud of, but you're constantly getting caught in the world of comparison on social media. While you endlessly scroll, you start to tell yourself that your photos aren't good enough and that you have to be posting your best shots to show that you're worth something. You may feel like you started too late and are getting left behind from everyone else, or even question whether you should continue photography at all. What if I told you that there's a simple way to not only improve your relationship with photography, but can also refine your skill and you can apply it today, like right now? Let me tell you, I am certainly no stranger to getting caught in the trap of the comparison game. I love being able to follow other photographers and creatives and finding inspiration online then supporting each other. But I'm gonna be real, it sometimes is a lot to scroll through your whole feed and it's essentially a long list of incredible shots that maybe you wish you took. Brene Brown leans into the world of vulnerability and shame and she brings up a really good point. Whenever we compare our success or our looks or our achievements, or in this case, our photography, it can lead to the feeling of unfulfillment or like we're not enough. Not only that, it also messes with our creativity and our, our creative thinking. When we're too busy analyzing and scanning someone else's work and trying to match their style, we sacrifice our own creative identity. It's almost like we brush off our own creative ideas just so that we could fit in with someone else. It's all a loop that makes us feel like we're always behind and we're never gonna be enough. So this all led me to think about that recent trend on TikTok. You know, the one where people are putting together everyday clips of their lives and it somehow provokes this feeling of nostalgia and being carefree. It has people commenting things like, this reminds me of my childhood or this is how I saw the world as a kid. I thought like, how can someone else's random clips of their lives provoke such a strong feeling? The thing is, it focuses on cutting back the noise of life by focusing on the small everyday details that we would all normally miss. What happens is that these tiny little details that are captured highlights the simple little joys of life. So how does this TikTok trend help us? Photography has become this thing of perfection, but I've noticed in some video work or even like film photography, that is all about capturing the messiness and the humanness of our world. So we can use the idea of seeing life cinematically into cutting out the noise that comes with playing the game of comparison. It's all about seeing the beauty, seeing the stillness, and noticing the small details that you would normally miss on your day-to-day -day life. This simple, innocent trend shows us how powerful it can be to notice the small details around us and capturing it. So much so that it can evoke feelings when you look at the imagery. And isn't that like the core of what makes a good photo? So think about this the next time you have a chance to take some photos. And I mean like the next time you have an hour that you would normally spend scrolling anyway. Go out with your camera with only one plan in mind. Take photos of things that catch your eye. When you boil it down, this way of thinking forces you to only pay attention to two things that are foundational to any type of photography, composition and lighting. So imagine you're out with your camera without a clear plan on what you want to photograph, thinking about lighting and composition. What are you starting to pay attention to? There might be interesting lighting patterns that you haven't noticed before. Do the buildings in your area create an interesting composition? How can you use what's around you to frame your subject? When you go out with zero expectation and zero judgment on what you should and shouldn't be capturing, you open yourself up to a world of creativity. Notice the negative spaces or the shadows or even like weird looking architecture or doorways. Imagine that you're trying to tell a story with what's in front of you and how you want to tell that story. Listen, my favorite part of photography isn't about the most up-to-date equipment or your camera gear or your camera settings. I mean, sure, no one's gonna deny that those things are gonna inevitably help improve your photos, but being able to slow down and notice your surroundings with an intentional eye is something that not all photographers can do. Focusing on capturing the small things gives gives you the permission and the freedom to have fun and be carefree. Think about the last time you took out your camera on a whim. What did you take away? Probably notice like, hey, you actually really enjoy shooting in direct sunlight. Or maybe you found that, yeah, shooting in direct sunlight actually kind of sucks. Either way, the point is just to take moments in your day away from social media, away from the comparison to capture things in ways that you never thought you could. And the best part is that doing this and having this type of mindset will actually help to refine your skill as a photographer and be able to see things that are good photo ops that you may have not known noticed before. It will help you the next time you're just casually taking photos with some friends or you have a crazy big production behind your photo shoot. It all reminds me of like a new photographer who just finally got a camera in their hands and they just take photos of everything. They don't care about their settings, they just have it on auto mode and they take it with them everywhere. I mean it's like everyone on TikTok who's doing the trend. They're not professional 
professional photographers or video specialists, yet they're still able to find stories through their cameras. That's pretty incredible. It's something that we can learn from, finding the joy and seeing the beauty and the fun and the little details. I've taken some of my favorite shots on just a whim, without any pressure to take like the best shot ever. Seeing my daily life through a cinematic lens, whatever that truly means to you, can give you your favorite shots. And that's something comparison just can't compete with. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Have you already tried something like this? Do you feel like social media has impacted your photography in any way? I've also made a video that goes over some steps that can help you improve your photography that doesn't have anything to do with gear. It's sort of a part two to this video when you're ready to start planning your photo shoots and having a little bit more intention into the final look of your photos. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm definitely gonna be using this for myself. I hope you think about these things the next time you pick up your camera. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you over in this video.